Hello, Rick Weisberg again here with Oasis Water Harvesting. We want to focus today on preparing a proper base for the tank. I've heard horror stories of people that don't really take the time and effort to prepare their base and it ends up ruining the tank. So I tell my customers you just want a flat, level, clean spot to put the tank, rake the rocks off the surface, because um, over a period of time with the water in this tank and the weight, a rock could work its way through the bottom of the tank. Um, also, if you're gonna put it on concrete or dirt, don't put a tank on both at the same time. In other words, what I'm saying, if you're either gonna put it on concrete, it's gotta have concrete under the entire base of the tank, or if it's gonna be on dirt, all dirt under the tank. But don't put it like half on a sidewalk and half on dirt, because that's gonna create a pressure point at the edge of that concrete that once again could jeopardize the tank's uh, structural integrity. What this customer did, was very nice, I want to point out, is he built redwood two by four frames around where all the tanks were going to sit and then filled that in with pea gravel. Pea gravel is a very nice uh, substrate to put under your tanks because it's a very, it's a quarter minus type material. There are no big rocks in it. And it also holds its shape better than sand does. If you put sand under a tank, that's fine, but then you need to put a larger aggregate of gravel around the base of the tank so over time, water coming down the outside of the tank from rainfall doesn't eventually wash that base away around your edge. And so what you'll end up doing is the, the, the edge of the tank will settle, but the bottom won't. So then you've got your bottom of the tank, tank starts getting a dome look effect to it. This customer wanted to put the tank on concrete. It is uh, about three to four inches deep. When you put a tank on concrete, you absolutely want to make sure there are no rocks on top of the concrete when you put the tank down. So have your broom ready, clean it good, really good before you put the tank down, and then it makes a very firm, solid base. If you're gonna do the concrete yourself, we recommend that you use some rebar in there or, or and some driveway mesh, which is a wire that's on a four by four inch grid. That just keeps the concrete from cracking over time. But uh, you might wanna call a professional and have them do the concrete for you. 